Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review Poltergeist 3. So let's try. This is the third and final installment in the Poltergeist trilogy. Only this time it doesn't have Craig T. Nelson and all of the other characters. We now just have Heather O'Rourke, who plays the character Carol Ann. So Carol Ann is now staying with her aunt and uncle at this building and she's trying to get used to this idea since her parents sent her to stay with her uncle and aunt. These supernatural forces that have carried with her in the original and the second have followed her here so of course there's more of these supernatural stuff and they have to stop it. The original Poltergeist is a classic. It's one of my favorite movies. And in general, one of the my favorite horror movies of all time. I thought the original was just a classic. It was amazing. It's just great. And then there's the sequel. Yeah, I thought the sequel was shit. Really did not like the sequel. Hated it, actually. But maybe the third one could be better than the sequel. And it isn't. It's just as shitty and lazy and unoriginal as the sequel. I really hated watching this movie. Before I do get to what I really hated about the third installment, let me get to my positives because it's always good to talk about what you like about a movie you don't like, right? Okay, so my first positive is that Heather O'Rourke, just like what she did with the first two movies, she does do a good job as Carol Ann. I still care about the character. She still manages to make the character likable. She does a good job. And Tom Skerritt, I also thought he did a good job as the uncle. I really cared about the uncle. Everyone else in terms of acting, they were all right. Nancy Allen, however, yeah. I'll get to her when I get to my bad side with this movie. Another thing I actually did like about this movie is the first 20 minutes. And it's the first 20 minutes because it's a build up and nothing well crappy goes on. The first 20 minutes is watchable, it's just build up. But yeah, I did like whatever was going on with the first 20 minutes, especially when Carol Ann was, is like with this psychiatrist in that one scene. Another good thing about this movie is that it does have a few really cool images. Like there were, there were a few images that were very well done, images that actually surprised me a bit. Like there was this one scene with the hand coming out of a puddle. I actually thought that was a cool scene. That was a scene that actually surprised me a bit. There was another scene where a girl is coming out of this rotten face. It was like, whoa, what the hell? Like there were a few images that actually surprised me, not creeped me out necessarily, but they surprised me and I thought it was very well done. Unfortunately though, everyone, that's all I have for positives with Poltergeist 3. Now let's get to what I really, really could not stand about this movie. One thing for sure is that the storyline. After like the first 20 minutes, the storyline isn't very good. It's shit. It's not very well written. Things don't make sense. It feels way too convoluted. It doesn't go anywhere. Other than a few images that really surprised me and I actually thought were handled well, any other images that the film had felt random, off and just not scary. It just comes off as unbelievably laughable sometimes. I also thought the movie as a whole, it could get quite boring. The characters are a little one dimensional and I, that's not to say I don't hate the characters, but they're characters at the same time that I didn't really care too much for, other than the uncle played by Tom Skerritt and Carol Ann played by Heather O'Rourke. All the other characters, I could seriously care less about them. It wasn't very well executed. The movie just felt all over the place. It wasn't very well done with the pacing either as it felt disjointed. Nancy Ellen, 
She plays the aunt. And I am sorry. I know it's her character, and I don't blame Nancy Allen, but I thought she was whew, pretty awful. I hated the aunt, and I'm not kidding you. The aunt kept calling Carol Ann a spoiled brat because of the events that are happening without spoiling them. It's like she's saying, fuck Carol Ann, just fuck her. Let's just get out of here or whatever. The uncle is actually very caring with Carol Ann and doesn't want anything bad to happen to her. But the aunt was basically all like, oh, who cares what happens to her, blah, 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 blah. And it's just not like, not only was the character Nancy Allen played very annoying, but she is so frustrating and not likable. She is such an unlikable bitch. Not even at the climax, which was really stupid, by the way. I didn't care about her when the movie started, and I didn't care about her when the movie ended, most definitely. She's one of the most annoying and unlikable characters I've probably seen in a movie, period. Definitely how this one ends the trilogy, which is a big old slap in the face. Overall, Poltergeist 3 is a terrible sequel. Cool. I thought the storyline was very disorganized. The direction was all over the place. Nancy Allen was annoying. All the characters, while I don't hate the other characters, I just didn't really care for them. It was a very unsatisfying way to end the Poltergeist trilogy. It was a pointless sequel. I'm going to give this movie the same rating I gave the sequel. One out of four stars. Could not stand watching this movie. It was dull. It was uninteresting. It was convoluted. It was a huge slap in the face. It felt lazy, uninspired. It was just crap. Just wow. Mm -hmm.